Born in 1944 and originally from Sorrel, Alberta, Ted Jarella made Powell River home from an early age and quickly established himself as a natural athlete, no matter the sport. In 1960, Ted was named the Brooks Secondary School Top Sportsman for his talents and abilities, not only on the football field, but also in volleyball, softball, basketball, and track and field. A move to Spokane furthered Ted's career and increased his notoriety in the football community. Ted attended Washington State University, a turning point in his career where he began his place kicking career, becoming one of the early adopters and innovators of the now popular soccer style kick. That allowed more distance and I think guys were skeptical at first when, when the guys started because everything was straight on uh, toe kicking before that. And uh, I think uh, I think Teddy, as far as I'm concerned, had the, had the ability to be in the NFL himself, but uh, obviously he didn't get the opportunity or whatever. But, uh, you know, it allowed for so much more distance when they're kicking. In 1967, Ted joined the BC Lions, and much like the earlier stages in his life, he established himself quickly as a natural athlete and star player. He tied a then record of five field goals in a single game, something he did five times during his career. Lefty Hendrickson was a teammate of Jarella's from 1968 until Ted's retirement in 1973. The pair quickly bonded over a mutual love of the outdoors. We were probably direct opposites on the field because I was I was pretty boisterous in my time and Ted's quiet and unassuming, but, but it turned out we had you know, much the same hobbies. Uh, both of us loved to hunt, and uh, being from Squamish, uh, it was the right area. And Ted and I used to, every weekend we could, or any days we got off, we'd go up to Squamish and and hunt deer. And it was just a matter of getting out in the, in the bush and and uh, you know, seeing a guy in, in that different mode. I mean, you, you get to to know each other more personally. As a teammate. Hendrickson says that Jarella was a quiet character in the locker room, but one who led by example for the other players. Kickers all, all have their quirks and, and they want to be sort of in their own space and left alone. So during the games, uh, that's exactly what we did. You leave him alone and and uh, and then, hey, when he's ready to go out, say, hey, do the job type of thing. He's always been unassuming, but uh, he wanted to come time to do the job. You just uh, let him go and, and, and do it. And that's the way the pictures are. A 1967 Western Conference Rookie of the Year performance was backed up the following year by Jarella slotting through 30 field goals in a season, a record for any professional league at the time. He also won the Western Conference scoring title. A gifted athlete no matter the venue, and now a Powell River Sports Hall of Fame inductee.